We are going to simulate a normal distribution in Excel. So in column A, I put 1000 random numbers that oscillate randomly around 10.5 with a standard deviation of 1. So it creates a normal distribution like this. Because we have only 1000 cases that will vary. Results will vary. So what do we do in here? We put here a formula. And that is actually the function norm inverse based on a random probability. We put the rand function there. The mean is going to be 10.5 for instance or whatever you decide and the standard deviation 1. Okay. We are going to repeat that formula 1000 times so you should select range A1 for A1000 but to do that a little faster I click in the name box and I type in there A1000. I want to go there and select all the cells on the way down. So I hold the shift key and enter to go there. Because I held the shift key I, it selects everything in there. Now in A1 we put our formula this one that we discussed already and to get that in all the selected cells do control enter at the same time and it puts all those values in there and then we are going to make a frequency table we make categories preferably with the same intervals from 7 to 15 and then we put the frequency function in here. You do that by selecting multiple cells ahead of time. I'm going to do one more cell. I call that the, the garbage can. And there should be no values anymore in the category past 15. Otherwise you missed a few values. Then you type in the frequency function. For A1 through A1000. The bins array is... 7, 8, 9 through 15. And don't just click on OK. This is an array function. So you do Control Shift OK. And it recalculates the frequencies. I plotted those in this chart or graph. And we get these results. Okay. Each time you rerun that formula in A1 through A1000 with F9 you get small deviations from the normal curve. Why? Because we have only 1000 cases. So we are going to repeat this 20 more times. And we do that in a, what they call a data table. And that data table is going to do that 20 times 1000. That means you have 20,000 cells. And this curve is rather stable. Each time I press F9, you will see it changes a little bit, but hardly anything, whereas that one keeps changing much more vigorously. If you had 100,000 cases, it would hardly change. So how do we get that rerun 20 times? We put in here the formula that we borrow from here. I, I'm skipping now that, that last garbage can. So I select ahead of time all these cells. I put a transpose function in there and I say I'm going to transpose. I change from vert vertical to horizontal. D5 to D13. Don't forget to do control shift enter. Okay. And then we are going to say I would like to repeat this 20 more times. So we select the table. Make sure that you always include that first row with the formulas in it and an extra column although there is nothing in there in this case we will do that and so we are going to put a formula in there that is going to propagate for all those cells so select this range and get a data table or a data table you get that from what if analysis data table it says, what is your row input cell? Mm, really nothing. But the column input cell is where are the results going to be put? I could take any cell. I'm, I'm going to do 
cell E1 outside that range. And I click on OK. And I get this table. What, what is in there, in the background, there is a formula. If you want to see all the formulas at once, you will see that these are all table formulas. You didn't create them. Yes, you did, but not manually. You cannot create them manually. And there are your transpose functions. So each time I press F9, all this updates 20 times based on this frequency table. Then at the bottom, I put an overview. I put here the frequencies. That is again a transpose function. Select multiple cells. Then select your transpose and select these ones. Control enter and you get a repetition of these frequencies. And these are just averages of this section. G1 for G18. And you copy that to the right. Then we created a graph here. And that graph has in there, of course, on the horizontal axis, the, the frequency bins or categories with equal intervals. And these are the columns based on these values. And I did that one more time. Right click there, select the data. I added that same series one more time with the same categories. But G23 for E20, uh, O23, which is exactly the same. And then I changed the way that thing looks. Right click on that series, change the series chart type, and make that an area chart instead of columns. Okay. And that's how we got all of this. So now each time, imagine what is going on in the background and it goes very fast. It calculates 1000 randomly distributed numbers, normally distributed numbers. Then it calculates the frequencies from those numbers and then it repeats those frequency calculations 20 more times, calculates the averages and plots all of that. F9, F9, F9. Notice that this one hardly changes. That one changes much more because it's based on less, fewer data. You want to know much more about all of this? This is basically a simulation. So I have a book for you, Excel Simulations, that discusses 80 different simulations. You can find it at genesispc.com and look at all the areas I cover in that book. And if you want to know more in general about Excel, and Excel VBA and Excel for Scientists. You can find all these. There will also be an Excel 2013 VBA CD-ROM at the beginning of this year. That is 2014. It will probably be published in May. You can find it at Genesis PC. All this is published by MrExcel.com.